Welcome to the 2021 National Health Safety Network, or NHSN, Quick Learn Series. These are brief and informative presentations from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. They serve as an educational resource for healthcare facilities working to prevent healthcare associated infection, or HAIs. This Quick Learn focuses on the 2021 changes to the NHSN urinary tract infection or UTI protocol found in the NHSN Patient Safety Manual Chapter 7. Please visit the NHSN website to view the full chapter. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to accurately identify symptomatic urinary tract infection or SUDI and asymptomatic bacteremic urinary tract infections or ABUTI events as well as discuss the removal of the urinary system infection, UCI event, from the major infection type, UTI. First, we will review the change to the SUDI criterion. Fever documented within the infection window period, or IWP, is eligible for use to meet SUDI for all ages with or without an indwelling urinary catheter, or IUC. This includes SUDI 1A, SUDI 1B, and SUDI 2. As a result of this change in use of fever in SUDI, a patient greater than 65 years of age with fever within the IWP and with or without an IUC in place for greater than two days on the date of event will no longer meet a booty, but will meet SUDI 1B. NHSN provides the following guidance to establish a beginning point for applying the new criteria for non-associated device UTI. If the urine culture collection date occurs on or after January 1, 2021, and can be used such that an NHSN urinary tract infection criterion can be met, the infection will be assigned to a 2021 infection that is, the date of event will be 2021, regardless of the actual date of the event determination for DOE. This method of assignment for date of event only applies to the 2020 to 2021 transition period. Another change is the removal of UCI as a UTI specific type event. The urinary system infection, or UCI, is no longer a specific type event within the major event UTI. UCI is a major type event whose criterion can be seen in the Patient Safety Component Manual, Chapter 17. UCI is available for a secondary bloodstream infection, or BSI, assignment, and as a specific surgical site infection, or SSI, organ space infection site. UTI and UCI can occur simultaneously and each creates its own repeat infection timeframe, or RIT, and secondary blood attribution period, or SBAP. NHSN provides the following guidance to establish the beginning point for applying the new criteria for UCI event type transition. In general, if the diagnostic test for the first sign or symptom in the absence of a diagnostic test occurs on or after January 1, 2021, and can be used such that an NHSN UCI site specific infection criteria can be met, the infection will be assigned to a 2021 infection. That is, the date of event will be in 2021, regardless of the actual date of event determination. This method of assignment for the date of event only applies to the 2020 to 2021 transition period. Why the changes to the urinary tract protocol? The Healthcare Infection Control Practices Advisory Committee, or, or HICPAC, recommended allowing the use of fever for patients greater than 65 years of age without an eligible IUC in place to simplify the application of the UTI definitions. The UCI change provides clinical relevance 
having UCI as a specific event under UTI major event had the potential to preclude the ability to have both an UCI and a SUDI or an ABUTI identified during the same RIT. The change in 2021 allows both UCI and UTI to be identified and both events reported. This allows for more accurate event reporting. Let's look at the first change as it applies to SUDI, where fever may be used as the only sign or symptom within the IWP to meet UTI for all ages. There is no longer an age restriction with or without an IUC. Next, let's review a scenario that applies this change. SUDI 1B Scenario 1. On March 25th, a male patient, 67 years of age, was admitted to an acute care hospital for trauma. An IUC was inserted. On March 26th, the IUC was still in place and the patient had a fever of 39.0 degrees Celsius. On March 28th, the IUC was discontinued early in the morning. Then at noon, the patient complained of urinary frequency. On March 29th, a urine culture was collected and grew the greater than 100,000 colony forming units or CFUs per milliliter of E. coli. The determination. We determined the event by setting the IWP using the date of the urine collection. The IWP is defined as the seven days during which all site-specific infection criteria must be met. It includes the collection date of the urine, the three calendar days before, and the three calendar days after. In this case, the IWP is March 26, through April 1st. The first eligible element within the IWP is the fever, which occurs on March 26th. March 26th is the date of event for the DOE. The DOE occurred on the second day of the admission. The IUC was not in place greater than two consecutive days on the date of event. The event is present on admission or POA and is determined to be a SUDI 1B. For the next example, a female, 79 years of age, was admitted to an acute care hospital for altered mental status on June 16th. An IUC was present. No fever was documented on admission, nor were there any UTI symptoms or signs. No UTI signs or symptoms were documented on June 17th or 18th. On June 19th, the patient became unresponsive and was transferred to the intensive care unit with a fever of 39.5 degrees Celsius. An IUC was inserted. On June 20th, a urine culture was collected that grew greater than 100,000 CFUs per milliliter of Klebsiella pneumoniae. The determination. We determined the event by setting the IWP using the date of the urine collection. In this case, the IWP is June 17th through June 22nd using the urine collection date of June 20th. The first eligible element within the IWP is the fever on June 19th. The DOE is June 19th. The DOE occurred on the fourth day of admission. The IUC was not in place greater than two consecutive days. This event is healthcare associated or HAI SUDI 1B. When the HAI SUDI 1B event is entered into the NHSN application, urinary catheter is set to neither, not catheter associated, neither in place nor removed. Fever is available for this patient who is greater than 65 years of age. The application of change to a booty. In 2020, patients with or without an indwelling urinary catheter 
has no signs or symptoms, or SUT1 or 2, according to age. Patients greater than 65 years of age with a non-catheter-associated abuti may still have a fever and still meet the abuti criterion. In 2021, patients with or without an indwelling urinary catheter must have no signs or symptoms of SUTI 1 or 2 according to age for the abuti criterion to be met. For an event to be considered an IUC associated, the patient must have an IUC in place for more than two consecutive days in an inpatient location on the date of event, and the IUC was in place on the date of event or the day before. Catheter-associated abuti is reportable if the catheter-associated urinary tract infection is in the facility's reporting plan for that location. When the Healthcare Acquired Infection of Booty event is entered into NHSN, urinary catheter is set to neither, not catheter associated, neither in place nor removed. No signs or symptoms are available for this patient who is greater than 65 years of age. The third change to the UTI protocol is the removal of the urinary system infection or UCI event. UCI events with a date of event January 1st, 2021 or later will no longer be a site-specific infection under the major infection UTI. A UTI, symptomatic and asymptomatic urinary tract infection and the UCI event can be identified during the same repeat infection time frame, meaning UTI does not exclude the ability to identify an UCI. UCI site-specific infection criteria can still be found in the NHSN patient safety component surveillance definitions for specific types of infections, chapter 17, and can be used for secondary BSI assignment and as a specific SS organ space infection site. In the 2020 UCI was a specific event under the UTI event type. The image on the right shows the change appears within the NHS application in 2021. UCI is an event type on its own and is included in the drop-down listing. In summary, the changes reviewed apply to events with the date of event January 1, 2021 or later. Fever is an element that can be used to meet UTI in all ages of patients as well as catheter or non-catheter associated events. Urinary system infection is removed from the NHSN UTI protocol and remains in the CDC NHSN surveillance definitions for specific types of infections in Chapter 17. This concludes the NHSN Urinary Tract Infection Protocol change. If you have any questions regarding the content of this presentation, please contact nhsn at cdc.gov.